It's really putting on a show for us. Cette scène rare se passe à environ 1600 mètres de profondeur en plein océan Pacifique. Cet octopode gonfle une membrane entre ses bras à plusieurs reprises. Wow. C'est huge. Oh my gosh. These are very rare animals, so every time we see one, it's it's exciting and new. We think that it does that to make itself appear to be very big and difficult for a predator to eat. So I think what it's doing is reacting to the sub. When they first see it, the uh, octopod has the webs that are between the arms strongly uh, withdrawn, so that it, it's, they're pulled up really tight, and then it relaxes those webs and, and forms what's called a balloon behavior. It's like a parachute. Oh, Look cool. That. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> L'animal mesure environ 1,3 mètres. Il fait partie de la famille des sirotetidés, des cousins de la pieuvre commune mais il est difficile à identifier précisément. That one is in the Pacific Ocean. It looks like it's a species that's known from the Atlantic Ocean, but it may be an undescribed species and I would not know for sure unless I collected the specimen and was able to examine the internal biology of it. There's actually two kinds of of octopods that have fins like that. Uh, one kind sits on the bottom and they have a simple web that just goes between the arms. And then there's the ones that are up in the water like this one. And they have a web that's joined to the arms by a secondary web. And that expands the amount of water it can capture inside when it's doing this ballooning behavior, which might also be used for feeding as well. Ces images ont été prises par l'expédition Nautilus qui filme des zones très peu connues dans l'océan. The more observations that we get, the, the more that we can piece together how it behaves down in the, the deep, dark ocean where it lives. 